Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can directly create custom connectors and leverage or call that endpoint from Power Apps. So I have done already a couple of videos how you can create custom connectors one year back. So I have I just opened that video as well. I'll put a link into the description. So where like I explained the steps to create custom connector and call those custom connector endpoint or action using Power Automate or a flow. But this time we are going to do that directly from Power Apps so that rather than waiting for even for one second, the result or the response should be immediate. So we may require to call uh, the app APIs, it could be external or internal within your company's environment directly from Power Apps. So that is the way of doing it. So rather than like having an intermediary flow or Power Automate in between, you can directly call your custom connector, have that endpoint hit and get the uh, whatever response or result you want to have and show into the control. So that's the thing which we are going to take a look today. So I have opened my make.powerapps.com and I'll start creating by creating one custom connector. Though like I have already explained that in one of one of the video, but uh, for people who are already who, who are watching this for the first time, so I'll just quickly create those steps and as well as because in the response we would require to have some adjustments to read the results so that's that's the way like there's a reason like i'll just create or recreate the entire custom connector once again and we'll show you so for example i'll be taking uh, the example of uh, calling a weather api which actually in turn takes the city name as parameter and returns me the response into the very uh, into the json which is having the location details the country and the current the temperature so temperature underscore c and f this is what we are interested in too so this we are going to get the in the response back and the initial api call would be to this endpoint that is api.weather api.com current version json key and this key would be my this uh, free key which i have registered for this site so there's an example, this API endpoint could, could be anything for you. It could be an internal uh, REST API call or any external call. Let's start uh, by creating any custom connector. So I'll just go to the more and discover all where I should be able to find my data options and under data options, we have this custom connectors. So over here, I, the, all the custom connectors into my environment would be listed. So I can start by creating a new custom connector. So I'll just say create from a blank and I'll just say that interactive weather API connector. And now I'll start creating the general skin. You can very well change the logo for your connector, but I'm just leaving that as is. And into the host, we have to copy the host. So I'll just copy this from this call and into the security. I would just go to the security and the next step. So authentication would be the key based API key based authentication parameter. I'll just say key and key. And in the next, the parameter location would be is query because we are going to pass that into query. And in next step, we are going to go to the definition where we will start by creating one new action. So that action would be get whether data and into this we'll just paste that into the operation id as well and in the request we'll start importing from a sample and sample which i just showcase you this api endpoint and the response header would be this so we'll just do that so i'll just say import from sample and i'll paste the endpoint and from this endpoint i'll just remove key because key would be part of already uh, the query where we have already described that in the security part of this custom connector. So now this queue or the parameter, this queue would be the city name. So this would be just a city name. So, and we are going to get, give a get request and over here into the parameters will be seeing that it's taking the parameter for that queue, queue parameter is city name. And over here in the response, we have to use uh, the default response like what response it would be giving back to power apps like when it calls that connector or power automate so uh, if you are using directly within uh, this connector in the power automate you may just interpret that entire full uh, response json or the body 
into the power automate and then use the compose action to extract or pass JSON action to extract the uh, the actual data out of it. But as you are going to use that into power apps, so we have to properly define the responses that what exactly we want to read. So I'll just say add default response and over here I'll just go back to my explorer and I'll into the response header I will just copy the entire response header and go to custom connector back and into the JSON this is the body JSON what you are expecting uh, as a response of this call so over here if I just go back to my into the weather API explorer and this is like the sample response body would be like this so this is having entire all the attributes but we are just uh, focused on this temperature Celsius part of it so I'll just do like I'll just copy but I'll just uh, remove whatever I don't want so I'll just keep on removing or update my JSON I'll just remove this and into this condition as well I'll just keep this Fahrenheit temperature and the Celsius temperature we'll just remove the other pieces of it location if you Want to keep it you can and i'll just format this one so that it's a valid json so now it's a valid json and the response i'm getting response as current current dot amp underscore c amp underscore f would be the my values whatever i get from the response of this call so i'm just saying import in the header it's having all these parameters as a part of header and response header and in the body we have this amp underscore c and amp underscore f so if you click on this and add it, you will see the types for this the responses. So number double and I'll just go back and actually save, update my connector. So now we'll just test this one. I'll just go to test tab and I'll pick the connection which we latestly created with a new API key. And over here, you can specify your CD name to get the temperature and we'll just do the test operation. And if I scroll down, I got this body, which body is having all the details. And as you know, like we have already extracted only this response, temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius. So this is what we are going to uh, look at into our power apps. So now as the custom connector is already created, so now the next step is we are going to leverage this custom connector into power apps directly to get the instant results. So I'm just going to make dot power apps.com will create a canvas app and this would be weather call I would say and I'll just create it. So in this now I'll just drop one control that would be let's say like a drop down because I'm going to select the cities from a drop down and I'll directly bind my hard coded cities for demo purpose New York, London, and let's say New Jersey. So this would be my this drop down and before that i'll just go to the data because we have to actually add our custom connector as a data so i'll just click on add data and we'll try to find out my custom connector that is interactive weather and over here it is and i'll just select the latest connection which create which we created so now it's there and uh, to depict to see the temperature i'll just drop one more label so that the temperature changes should be visible to us and I'll just say over here and just zoom it a bit and on selection or on change of this drop down my connector should be called up with the input so I'll just say on change the connector name interactive weather API dot get weather data this was the action and in the parameter we have this q text that means like city name so i'll just say q and text would be drop down one dot selected dot, dot value so this value should be passed to this q parameter as a city name and 
after that like we have to extract the response out of it so as you know like we have trimmed down our response to just get the current temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius I'll just use the Fahrenheit and this would be given thrown back to our this interactive from interactive uh, data call so now we have this uh, error for JSON and now we got this interactive weather data API call temperature finite as response so but we need to set it up in a variable so that we can use it and variable name say temperature comma and the value of this interactive call and I just close it so we set up this variable and this variable we are going to in turn use into our this label so I'll just set that as x for my this label so now we have this both the drop down and the label so I'll just run it once and I'll change my drop down to London and it's making call so 46.4 is Fahrenheit response what we get in New York is 37.9 so we are able to get the instant response from our this API endpoint using this custom connector so if you could have gone through the way like where we were calling custom connector in Power Automate, it could have taken a slight delay like it could be milliseconds or it could be like one second two second anything based on this connection response but this way it's pretty much instant like whenever you see a requirement of calling any API within your intranet or internet or public one then just think about this way of uh, having this custom connector in place and make that call instantly without actually getting any delays so that's the intent of this video how you can leverage the custom connector and call or get the response back to any power apps instantly using this way so that's it for today's video i hope like you may find this useful because it was useful for me and if you actually like it do press that thumb icon and if you have any further questions then feel free to drop me comments i'll be happy to answer that's it for today. Thank you.